everyone, this is Sue. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be another one of those what you're going to do today videos. Um, first thing, I, I talked yesterday about um, adding some embellished tea bags to my journal. The first thing I want to do, because the last two journals I've kind of forgotten this, I want to do a big thank you to... Okay, wait, I got a her name is Libby. She bought a journal from me back, I think, almost about a year ago and had embellished the pockets that were cut open with the lace, almost looking like a lace collar. Well, she sent me this package of all these different types of uh, vintage and lace. And I mean, really, I was just blown away by her generosity. And uh, also that this little, it's like, you know, wax seal print. It has an S. It's like my name, initial Sue. So anyway, I just wanted to say a big thank you to her. And um, it's, it's people like her and all my uh, people who do comments on my channel that um, really encourage and support me to, um, you know, keep going. Keep trying to create things and... Um, I just always kept forgetting to say that I wanted to thank her so very much and she sent this beautiful card with this cool washi tape and I really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And I uh, also had um, uh, a friend of mine yesterday emailed me about uh, she li liked my video with the showing how I do things and I really appreciate her supportive words as well so thank you so much so anyway we're gonna get started we're gonna take this little used eBay, eBay <laughs> tea bag and I want to create um, in my journal just a minute I gotta go get it okay the journal has a let's see, let me this. the journal has this That's not the one. Okay, this page here. I'm kind of high up because I'm going to do a teaching. And I don't, the journal's kind of big to fit in the screen. But anyway, it's, a, it's an embellished envelope. So in this area right here, there's a little pocket under this uh, teapot. And that's where I want to put a little embellished tea bag. So I want my tea bag to have a little bit of a you know, vintage, vintage ladies theme. So uh, if you like to make little um, used tea bag things, you can kind of join along. Go get a used tea bag. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some have staples. This one has a little string, so it comes out quite nicely. And uh, don't throw this away, so I'm going to use this again. So I'll lay that over here. And then you just unfold it. And when you get in one of the ends, you can start to open it up. And then, you know, there's a lot of tea in there. So I'm just gonna dump that out. Um, okay, so now Looks something like this. So what I want to do is add, I have this printable in my Etsy store. It's these little miniature Victorian children or ladies or figures. And there's this one and there's another one too. I'll show you uh, the digital as it looks in the store. So what I did was I chose this lady and I cut it out like, you know, they come with this like a tea card border around them. I cut out just the image without the border around it because I want it to fit inside the tea bag. 
and I think I trimmed the bottom off just a little bit so it was short enough so I'm gonna put that inside my tea card tea bag so it'll kind of look like this so you can kind of see her peeking through there and on the back side I made this little collage of fabrics kind of about the same size as the card and I'm gonna put that in on the other side like that so when I close it up you know you have to make sure you're getting it into the middle and you can fold back the sides and I'll have my little tea bag with my lady showing and my little fabric swatch in the back and I'm also going to add this little piece of bling I'm going to put that in inside the bag too okay so I've got her in there fabric in the back bling inside inked around the edges a little bit rounded the corners a little and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to sew around the edges okay so I sewed all the way around the edges so it kind of looks like that now I want to add some lace on the top a little piece of trim maybe this a little bit of color maybe I'll have that underneath there first with that on and then in order to connect reconnect our tea bag tag I'm going to take this button and I'm going to sew it on with this tea bag tag string. Okay, so I'm going to get my glue, add a little bit of glue up here on the top. piece of trim go down there like that and then I want to add this little piece of trim okay I got the glue on there oops wrong way the little stuff is always kind of fiddly all right, so we got that on. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I uh, got my needle, and uh, it's it's kind of a needle with a pretty big eye because I can't get this string through. So it, it's gonna go through the button pretty well. So um, I'm going to sew the button on and then knot it. Okay, I'm gonna come up from the back. And then add my button. Let's see which way to get the button. Add it that way. And back to my button. And then back to the tea bag. So I'm going to pull it through till the end comes through. And then I'm going to just tie a knot. And maybe I'll do one more. Okay. Cut that longer end off. Okay, so now we have our the lilac trim and our lace and our button on our little tea bag. So now the tea bag 
I want to have a, I'm going to put um, some fabric. I'm going to put this fabric on this side because I want it to look like a little vintage tea bag. Okay. I got the glue on there now, so. Pretty cute, and then flip it over. Mm, I got these two little pieces of scraps. I'm gonna just glue those on. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on here. And then I have this little word, I think it came out of one of the titles of one of my printables, just says vintage. I mean, you can have her say whatever you want, tea or pray or pray might be a good thing right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to glue that on. I only put the glue on the two ends. I kind of like to leave my centers of things open in case I want to, you know, string a charm through there, a bulb pin, or um, just about anything. I think I'm going to sew around the edges on that, and then um, I'll figure out the finish. Okay, so now I have my little tea bake done, little button back with the fabric inside and a little tag and I'm gonna get my journal out find my envelope page right here and I'm gonna stick it in this little pocket right here so there I just stick this in here like that. All right, so now our envelope has a pocket for things to put in. A pocket here with our little tea bag, the teapot, and some old book page. And uh, there's another corner tuck here. And if you got another little picture, you want to stuck, stick something in there. So um, that's the tea bag is done on that one, and. Uh, if you want, we can make one more. Okay, so I got my tea bag ready. This time I'm gonna use this pretty lady. Let's set her in there. I already pre-made the little, I'm just using scraps. This is two pieces of fabric that um, I just probably go in this way. And uh, first I think I glued my little bling on there. I'll put it right there. And that goes inside here. Hold it up. on it to get it to the point where I can show you how I decorate it. Okay, so now i am got this one. She's in there. Fabric and little collage with the bling in the back, sort of on the edges. I'm going to add the um, little bling to the top. Okay, I got the lace and the eyelash trim on there, and I got my tag. 
Okay, I lost a couple videos when I was... My um, iPad got too full, so I'm trying to get the glue off my fingers. So I sewed the button on, and then I finished up the... Uh, just a minute, I gotta cut that, cut that thread off of there. Finished up the little tag with the fabric on each side, and this one says dreams. So, uh, those are, well now, um, I'm going to show you where that one goes. Uh, I have, like I said in the previous video, I'm working on a couple of tea journals. So this one has a page like this, and um, that's why I kind of wanted to go with the green. And so, she will go into this little pocket in this journal. So there, thank you for joining me. Well, this is what this one looks like. I just love the look of old book covers. I don't know, something about them. So thank you for joining me today with uh, the time I spent making my little tea bag, embellished tea bags. Um, next, uh, next video I'm gonna show you Okay, here it is. I have this pitch here, and um, see if I got something. Well, this isn't really what's going in there, but I wanted to show you. This is a a pocket. I knew it was too wide, but the um, teapot is not stamped on the paper. It's on the um, Transparency. And I don't have anything else to fit in there. Maybe this one. So that's what I'm going to show you. I wanted some pockets that were clear, and this one has the teapot stamped on it. So I'm going to show you that in the next video how I created that because I'll need another pocket for uh, in my other journal. So again, I thank you for joining me and um, all of the support that I've gotten from all of you. Uh, I really appreciate it. So everybody take care. And for, bye now.